my lips are on fire. Guys, it's been so long since I've done a got or not, I can't even believe it. It's been months, if not years. Hi. Okay, so, number one on my got list, Evan Rachel Wood. Oh, I have a love-hate relationship with Evan Rachel Wood. It's mostly love, but it's mostly hate. It's a contradiction. Evan Rachel Wood is bisexual. That means there's a 50-50 chance that we'll be together. Those Gucci Guilty adverts when she's driving like a bitch with the artificially constructed wind blowing through her perfectly perfect hair, which I bet smells like promises and dewdrops. I'm Gucci Guilty of loving you. I just don't think I could be with a woman who's been with Marilyn Manson. I'd appear extremely vanilla. I'm Rose Dix. No one calls me Rose Ellen Dix. No one. But it makes you sound a little bit more Hollywood, doesn't it? Sarah Michelle Gellar. Robert Downey Jr. O.J. Simpson. Number two, Lisa Shinter. This week, Lisa's in London on a writing tour. She's just been signed with Universal Publishing. So we're gonna meet up and I'm gonna be like, yo, Lise. Oh my God, what if it's really awkward? What if I can't think of anything to say? It's renowned within my friendship group that I have to fill a long pause. Even if I haven't got anything to say, even if it's just an aroma, so guys, last night I had a dream that I made the most sensational cooking combination and I decided to go for it because, you know, YOLO. Do people actually say YOLO? You only live once, YOLO. I really like it for a name. Although it sounds a bit like Yoko and I'm not cool with Yoko Ono. I have a number of reasons. Nothing to do with the Beatles. Nothing to do with the Beatles. She stole from me. There was an incident back in 95 with a cheese grater. So I've got a chocolate crispy cake and I dreamt that I put it in Dijon mustard. This is genuine Dijon mustard. Gen there's, you can't fake that stuff. That is, that is nothing else comes in that lovely colour. Get it around there. Really get it around there. Get quite a lot because you know what? You can never have too much of this sexual mustard. Then get your Marmite and just, just drip it, just drip it on, onto the mustard there. This was a huge mistake. I'm gonna proceed to the knots today. I'm flicking my hair like a bitch, Jesus. Heidi Montag's chin. The other day, I was reversing out of my drive and I hit it. That's when you know you've got too much face. Do you know what else is really not the Titanic going down? I don't know if any of you know this, but I actually starred in Titanic. You know the little girl that Jack draws and dances with? Brunette, curls, face of an angel. I was her dad. Call me a conspiracy theorist, but I have a feeling Kathy Bates was behind the sinking of the Titanic. First of all, she has a history of mental instability, aka still bitter from misery. And number two, you never see her and the iceberg in the same room together throughout the entire film. I'm onto something here. Just like I'm onto Condoleezza Rice for introducing light mayo. Brooke Shields. Conventionally attractive? No. Attractive in her own right? No. But still, I can't put my finger on her. Got or not? Tell me what you eat. I'll tell you who you are. This book. This book. Get this book. This is like erotica. Guys, on a slightly more serious note, I'd like to say thank you to all the people that have made me videos for my documentary. Um, I don't know if the documentary is going to end up online yet, but um, I hope that it will. If it's crap, you'll never see it. Um, but what's great is the more work you do, the less I have to do for my degree. So thank you so much. And I really appreciate you being so honest and so, so great. And I love you all for that, so thank you very much. <laughs> Cause you know, YOLO. My mouth is full of saliva because my body doesn't know what else to do.